and I'm getting so fast. We're actually before, oh, seven o'clock. Perfect timing. All right. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another ASEA Global Expansion Team Zoom. We are talking about social media tonight. We've got the amazing Jackie Wetzler, the amazing Danielle Matthews, and soon we will have Alyssa Favreau. She's probably putting kids to bed right she's now. She's here. She's in the chat now. Or she's in the she, There she is. Now. There's yeah. Alyssa Favreau. She raised her hand. <laughs> and I am, uh, let's see, why isn't she? Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. There is more. Okay, there we go, Alyssa. We are promoting you to a panelist and we are good to go. All righty. So we're going to talk to Jackie Wetzler first. Jackie, I know you've been doing a lot on social media. Social media takes a lot of patience, a lot of consistency, and it takes some strategy. Like you can't just randomly post on social media and expect to get results. You have to think about the end in mind and then work from that place backwards. And I know, Jackie, that you've done that. So you've got a a really great method that's been working for you because what we've been teaching people is that you, you know, you, you build relationships online, but then you take them offline as quickly as possible, or maybe you, you know, build relationships in person, but then you get them on your social media as soon as possible. So you're constantly mixing the real and the surreal if you will. So Jackie, talk to us about what you're doing with with, uh, these networking groups in Denver specifically. Absolutely. Thanks, Indy. So um, I've been, you know, people want to be treated as people, whether it's in person or on social media, of course. (laughs) And people never want to be sold to, of course. They'll put their barrier up in front and so forth. So it is all about building a relationship and connection with that person. So what I have found to be very successful is uh, anywhere you are that has a networking group, it can be a business networking group or something that you all have in common, usually has a Facebook group that's attached to it where all the members are there and they get included with everything going on with that group. So what I have done uh, with the groups that I'm in in Colorado is that I have gone to the members part of the social media Facebook group and kind of gone down the list and I'll go through and just just look at their, first of all, look at their profile. Are they inviting? Are they nice and friendly (laughs) kind of person? Do they even post? Are they updated with their profile and so forth? Um, And then I see if we have something in common, whether it's maybe location, maybe they're here in Colorado, maybe they are to something, something to do with health or wellness, um, something in common, or maybe we have similar hobbies or interests so that it's not just totally random kind of thing. So that way I will uh, send them a message and just saying that I like to connect with them. I just say, hey, I you know came across your profile in such and such Facebook group. I give them a sincere compliment about their page. Uh, It kind of brings people's walls down and they feel appreciated. And then I say something about that we have something in common. Maybe, like I said, maybe it's health. So I notice that you're a natural path or fill in the blank. And, you know, I say, well, my passion and love and what I do is also in the health field. I would love to connect with you, learn more about you and what you do. And people love that. People love when people come to them um, to connect and people want to talk about themselves, <laughs> as you know. <laughs> so, so if you're saying that you love to learn more about them and who they are and what they do and why they do what they do, they're more so open to connect. And they're more so open to connect because they're in this networking group. So they're there to connect with other people. So that that is one sure way that I have found to definitely connect with people online is through Facebook groups of that networking group. That's that physical group. Um, So I have found that super helpful. And then if you go into other groups, again, for example, um, I'm in a group called holistic entrepreneurs. Well, holistic probably has to do with something health wise, um, helping your body heal itself, um, whatever that may be. 
And then they're entrepreneurial. So they're business people more so. So we have a couple of things in common already. And so that way you can, you can connect um, and or you can certainly just ask the question of, are you open to looking at other income options? Are you looking to um, at other ways to heal your body? Maybe try different ways, but if, if at least you say, hey, would you be open just to connect, to network, to see how we can um, help each other with business, to collaborate? They're so, what I have found, open to connect and just get to know each other. Yeah, absolutely. The thing about social media, the good thing about social media is it opens the whole world to you. The bad news about social media is it opens the whole world to you, right? So what we're doing is we're sifting and sorting, looking for real people that are interested in what, you know, that are like us, that, you know, we just want to know that they're real. They're not a spammer. They're not a robot. They're not a shyster. You know, we want to know that they're sincere, that they're genuine, that they have similar principles than we have. And maybe they're open, maybe they're not open, but you know, there we go. We have the whole world all of a sudden to network with once we sift and sort the creeps from the real people, right? And so they want to, they're looking at us, making sure we're not a creep and we're looking at them, making sure they're not a creep. And then once we decipher that neither one of us is a creep, then we can have conversations, right? I mean, at the end of the day, that's what we're doing. It's not, it's no different than we, if we physically go to a networking group and we are deciphering whether you're a creep and you're deciphering whether I'm a creep, we're just doing it in person. So, you know, it really helps to, because sometimes we get a sense on the internet, but it's not a real sense. It's not the same sense we get when we're meeting with that person in person. So if we have the advantage, the extra advantage to actually meet with that person in person, have a cup of coffee, tell some jokes, listen to what they have to say, then we get a real sense for that person. And then we, when we bring that relationship online, it just exponentially you know, grows that relationship, right? Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. So, I mean, the main thing about social media is don't make it weird. Yeah. Just because you're on social media, don't get weird. Just because you're in network marketing, don't get weird. Just because you're talking about molecules that nobody's ever heard of, don't get weird. Be normal, right? Yeah. Just be a person that's having honest conversations with nice people, right? That's our goal. That's what we do, right? Absolutely. Yeah. It's just like, transmit that in person to online you you wouldn't be like I don't know yeah you wouldn't be weird in person why are you weird online and it's just going back to the basis of just having a conversation um and just seeing if they're open to connect and then I I right away try to get them on zoom so that we can have that energy and see if I even want to continue this relationship with them or not so because you yeah, don't absolutely. know absolutely and you bring up a good point because so much gets lost in translation so you might text me certain words and I may put a certain tone of voice onto those words, or I might put a certain interpretation onto those words that have nothing to do with what you meant with those words. And so that's why emojis kind of color the words or, you know, exclamation points or, you know, whatever kind of color the words so that we can communicate more clearly. But the truth is, Let's get cl as close as possible to regular relationships as possible, which is Zoom. If you can't be there one-on-one -on -one because somebody's in Minnesota and somebody's in California, then meet one-on-one. -on -one. The good news is you can network, you know, without the geographical problem, you know, and, and you know, so just, you know, keep it real, take the, you know, make the, um, the technology an advantage, not a disadvantage. And just, you know, talk to people the way you normally talk to people. So thanks, Jackie. I really Absolutely. appreciate that. I mean, it sounds so basic, but you know what? People miss the basics. We are not doing anything extremely complicated. We are having honest relationships 
with normal people. That's our goal. So fantastic. Well, let's segue on to Danielle and, and Alyssa. These, these guys have taken this to the next level. And for those of us who don't feel as capable of, you know, coming up with this social media on a regular basis, these guys have put together a program. And I've actually, I actually invested in the program a year ago. And the reason I know that is because on my memories, my, you know, flashbacks from a year ago, I'm getting, oh, by the way, have you checked your skincare from ASEA lately? And I'm like, dude, I'm getting double dipping on this investment that I did with Danielle and Alyssa a year ago. So Danielle and Alyssa, tell us, you know, what you're doing to further us, our, you know, social media expertise. Absolutely. I'm kind of curious of those of you out there listening, put a 30 in the chat. How many of you did that 30 day campaign that Cindy's talking about that we put out there last year? Because there was like a slew of people globally. Yeah. Wonderful. So Pauline did and Monita and Roz and Bob, nice and Rosemary. Cool. Uh, it was something that, you know, we felt that there was a lot of confusion in our ASEA community about what am I allowed to post? What am I not allowed to post? Like, how do I represent myself online to share ASEA? Um, what do I post about when I'm not posting about ASEA? You know, it was just like a litany of questions that people had. And uh, Alyssa and I have been playing with it. You know, I know Jackie's played with this a lot too. Like what posts get engagement? And we compiled 30 days worth of content where you can, we gave you something to post into your story because you do a lot of sales in your stories and then content that kind of added value or created engagement on your wall, on your timeline. Now it went really well, so well that most people uh, stopped after like day four because they were overwhelmed with the number of conversations <laughs> uh, and the interactions. And we got a ton of feedback of like, I don't know what to do next. Like they commented on my post. Now what? And it was like deer in headlights. Like there's a fish on the end of the, <laughs> the rod. Like how do I wheel this thing in? Like, I don't know what to do. Uh, so we did not have the bandwidth last year. Honestly, it took so much to create that campaign. We gave like 60 days worth of content and it was, it was just a lot. We bit off a lot, but, um, we were reflecting this year and, you know, social media changes. Um, you used to be able to private message somebody. Now social media like Facebook has a spam filter and you can literally opt if you can get messages from strangers. So you can opt out. So it like limited a lot of what used to work really well. So social media is forever changing. And you all probably noticed that there's a lot of these little mini videos. <laughs> uh, short, like one minute, real TikTok, whatever you want to call it, YouTube shorts. Uh, they're taking over the internet. And uh, the social media campaign we did last year didn't teach anything about that. Uh, so we decided, look, why don't we get everybody together and you can redo your 30 days of social because a lot of people like fell over after day four, uh, get back on the wagon, <laughs> get back on the horse, whatever it is, and, and start again. And now you're going to have 21 days, like we're putting together a boot camp. It started today. Uh, 21 days where we have a telegram chat. So you can literally ask the questions when the rubber hits the road of like, I'm confused and I don't know what to do. You ask and you have a group of people that are going through this together. And then we've got training. So today we already had our training, but there is a recording. Don't worry. It's not too late. You can still get it. And we're, we're sharing about social media tips, uh, that are relevant for attraction marketing. Okay. So rather than like there's two types of marketing, action and attraction. Uh, what, what Jackie was just talking about was a beautiful example of action marketing. She's going in action online and seeking out people to network with in the way that you would like in person. Attraction marketing is totally different. Attraction marketing is I'm posting content that's so relevant to people's lives and people love it that they come and follow me. And then they love me and they love everything I do and they buy from me. Very different, very different ballgame. <laughs> Um, but there's a lot of that going on. And so we wanted to shed some light on what that would look like if you wanted to explore that aspect of social media. Uh, and, and that's what we have in place. Now, we also realized last year that some people just decided social media was not for them. It was too overwhelming. And they like, how do you build if you're not building online, if you don't have any friends and family left to talk to? And that's where networking comes in. So Alyssa, if you want to speak to a little bit about that side of things and what we're offering. 
Yeah. So, um, and the thing is too, I mean, Jack, I also just love Jackie's example because she gives such a great example of the world of networking and social media are so intertwined anyway. And so when we were looking at creating this boot camp, we also said, what if we were able to equip people so they could go out into their local community and they would be equipped with information that they would know how to give a 30 second pitch, that they would know how to effectively have a one on one uh, connection with someone, sit down for a cup of coffee with someone, and actually be able to know how to move the conversation forward and have the kind of a conversation with an agenda so that they would be able to move their business forward. And so we created both a social media track that people can choose as well as a networking track. And it was just so funny because a lot of people were like, like, well, what if I, what if I don't have a whole lot of people in my local community that I could network with? But I said, I mean, do you know the online space of networking now? I mean, most networking groups, they're online. You can connect and get to know people. And so, um, and so we have about 90% of people who signed up for our boot camp ended up signing up for both tracks because they saw the benefit in both. And luckily they're both being recorded. Uh, and so you can kind of choose to pursue one for 21 days and then the next one for the next 21 days uh, and kind of just absorb all of the information that's being shared uh, with the social social media and the networking. So, yeah. And something that, uh, you know, I would really encourage, like Jackie has done a brilliant job uh, of learning to network in person and learning how to become confident talking about what she does and then learning how to build relationships, which is like the key in our business. I think we're all looking for like, oh, what's the easy way? Like there's no easy way. <laughs> it takes work, whatever way you slice it network marketing, you have to work. And when you have done things in person, it's a lot easier to translate those skills online. I, that's where I started was networking in person for like five years, same with Alyssa. And there's such value to that and making connections, like Jackie said, with the local groups. And like, I still, to this day, you know how Facebook pops up with people you may know, or your Instagram says, suggest people to you could constantly it's entrepreneurs in Brevard County, where I used to live because all of my friends <laughs> from Facebook are people that I met networking. And so now when new people come in, it's like, boom, boom, boom. I kid you not. I got, there's silver in my organization. Now, some of you maybe have met them, Bob and Shannon, they reached out to me because I had so many common friends and they had just moved to that area. And they said, how do you know all these people? We just moved here. Do you still live here? And I was like, I don't live here, but we can still be friends. <laughs> and you know, that, that started this. So you just, you never know where it's going to go. It's a very meandering kind of thing. And yeah, and, well, and, and to bounce off of that, Danielle, too, I mean, you also have the ability to, to when you're networking in your community, you can add those people as a friend on Facebook, right? You can add them to your social media. Uh, basically, it's like a drip campaign is how I see social media. And so I, when I was doing most of my networking, I lived in Nashville, Tennessee. Now that was like six years ago. I lived in Nashville, Tennessee. However, I still, I mean, this happened last week. I had a new customer um, sign up to get summer new 28 last week because she lived in Nashville, Tennessee, and she was a result of the networking that I did six years ago. And so you just don't know how that's going to play out, but if you can leverage keeping in touch with people and leverage that on and offline relationship, it will pay you dividends many, many years in the future. So let me just put something in there. So I have 5,000 friends on Facebook and they limit you to 5,000 friends. So once you have 5,000, that's it. So you got to start eliminating people if you want to add other people. So my strategy was to have the majority of those people be in Aspen, Colorado, which, which is probably an insane strategy, but that's the people I care about. Okay. And so my posts are all about World Cup and skiing and, you know, my life that's here in Aspen, Colorado. And I kid you not, I will go to buy a plant or go to the grocery store. I'll go to a, some event. People will go, Hey, you're Cindy Buck. And I have never seen this person before, but all of a sudden I'm famous on social media because I'm consistently posting, not about ASEA, but consistently posting about things I care about. And they have gotten to know me through social media 
without me ever meeting them personally. So I'm building a brand that I'm leveraging. So when I do bring up a SIA, they're like, oh, you're that ski racer that lives in Aspen, that has two kids that grew up here. Oh yeah, what is this molecule you're talking about? I mean, so all of a sudden the business that I'm talking about has some context and I have some credibility, even though I've never met this person before, right guys? Yeah, so powerful. When I, I love that you bring that up too, Cindy, because that really is a great example of, you know, uh, people get so confused when it comes to social media, right? So Danielle talked about the action market marketing. You're kind of talking a little bit about, about the attraction marketing, and it can work in so many different ways, right? So uh, our 30 day campaign that we created last year, it was it was action marketing. So uh, basically capturing, how do you capture that current audience that you have? And then there's the attraction marketing that can happen in the world of social media. But people get so confused because they're like, so I post this thing and it goes to a cloud, right? Is the cloud above my house? I don't know, but there's this cloud, right? And then, and then that information that I share, somehow there's this algorithm that gets shared to someone over in China that this dance that I did on TikTok then converts into an ASEA associate or customer. And it's like, it's difficult to connect all of the dots when it comes to social media. And there's so many different ways to connect the dots. And so that's why then we saw such a need this year to focus on that attraction marketing and connect the dots for people. So first branding yourself, just like what you said, like your people come up to you. Oh, you're the person you live in Aspen, Colorado. You, you know, you're a skier, you have two kids. They know everything about you. And that is your brand that is outside of ASEA. So that then when you bring up the top of ASEA and what you're passionate about, they already trust you enough. They already like and resonate with you enough that they're ready to push the buy button right away, right? So we're, we've just been working on connecting those dots for people, first building your own personal brand outside of ASEA, that you are not ASEA, you are a human being. Uh, and so really just talking about who you are and then how to strategically have conversations with people that then convert into a SIA. Yeah, absolutely. There's people out there that post their cat videos and their plant videos and their kid videos, but you never know what they do for work. I mean, and some of them maybe don't work because they're raising a family or whatever, but I'm always curious, like, where does this person work? I mean, I, it would not insult me if they told me where I, they work. I'm curious. I want to know, like, are you a sculptor? Are you an artist? Are you a business person? Are you a tax accountant? What do you do? I mean, I'm curious because that's part of your personality, not your whole personality, but part of your personality. So if you're constantly spamming me about your accounting service and you're saying we, you know, whatever, I'm eventually going to go, oh my gosh, if you talk about accounting service one more time, I'm going to completely block you. I mean, so bored, you know, but if you're talking about everything else that you do in your life and oh, by the way, I'm an accountant, it's not so offensive, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's just like, if you go to a networking event, you, you know, you don't just shove your business card in everybody's face. I don't see, I don't see, I like, you would be annoying. They'd kick you out. <laughs> You're human. <laughs> Talk to people about their family, about what they do for fun, you know, about their dreams. Like that's, that's what you do. Uh, it's absolutely what, what you do. And guys, just logistics for a second. I put in the chat, the 30 day campaign that Alyssa was talking about that Cindy said she did a year ago. It's still out there. That thing is you can opt in at any time. You can get your new people to opt in at any time. Like that sucker is automated. Um, you just go to the website and click and it gives you all the details, tells you, tells you what to do. Um, Cindy, when you asked if we could come on tonight to talk about uh, the boot camp, uh, Alyssa and I said, you know what? <laughs> well, it started today, but it's never too late. And we'd love to give a promo, uh, the promo code out to people that are on this call. Because guys, if you're here, you're showing up for your business, you're doing the right things. And uh, we would love to give you a, a discount on this um, to, to come and join us. Uh, we will forward you today's recording. So you have that and a link to the telegram chat. So you can ask questions, join the community. There's, I think 375 people. I just got off before I got on here that have opted into this. Um, uh, so it's like a bonfire <laughs> of energy on the call this morning. Like, 
Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep tonight because uh-huh. it, was, it was a lot. Um, so I'm going to put in the chat uh, that the promo code is just 20 off. So it's two zero and then the word off. Um, so it's an O after that. Oh, look, Alyssa and I are both on top of it. We both did it. <laughs> I was just texting her for what that was. Um, so if you've got questions with that, let us know, but hopefully it's pretty straightforward. Um, we'd love to have you join in. And 20 off is $20 off, 20%. $20, yeah, $20 off. $20, $20. off because we did um uh we did increase the price right before we before we launched. So basically that 20 off is going to give you uh that initial price. And then we're gonna be sending you the recording as well as I mean, guys, we've got this this is not just like come show up to a Zoom for an hour. I I I I felt bad sending out almost like the email of of all of the activities that we have people doing for the week. And I mean, Danielle and I talked, but we're like, well, this is a boot camp. Like we are ready to take people's businesses to the next level and go all out massive action for 21 days. And so it's going to be pretty, pretty incredible um, as far as the next couple of weeks go. So, so yeah, so you're just going to go to that, that site. It's run uh, and then you're just going to enter. It's going to, you're going to go to checkout and at the checkout, it will say, do you have a coupon code? And you're just going to enter in 20 off to be able to purchase. So, so tell it, uh, let's just go through logistics of the boot camp. So we've got four more minutes to the end of the call. So what the boot camp is what is it specific things that we can cut and paste and put on our uh, social media or what is it? Nope. So the 30 day campaign is exactly that. So if you're looking for something to cut and paste that you can just basically be able to post for your current audience, if you will, that you have on social media, 30 day campaign, start there. Great place to start. We felt like there was a gap in between that and then being able to move forward in your business, right? How do you expand that audience? How do you get in front of new people? Uh, And so basically what we covered today um, was your own personal profile, right? Cleaning up your personal profile as well as creating a brand for yourself. And we took three people through a lot of different activities to be able to essentially create a brand for yourself um, so that you could start to post on social media. Next week, what we're going to be covering is going to be the art of story storytelling and how to actually start to tell that story through videos, right? Video content, like Danielle said, has exploded in the last year. If you're not doing video content, you shouldn't be on social media, basically. So we're going to teach people step-by-step how you can create video content that will actually be able to attract new people so that you can start to have new conversations with new followers, new connections, um, as well as being able to effectively tell your story. And then the last week of our boot camp is going to be really covering how do I then take this information that I have learned in the boot camp and start to create, find new people to connect with, convert them to a C associates or customers, and then manage those new associates or customers because they may live in a completely different country. How do I support that person if they do end up becoming a customer or an associate in ASEA? Um, so we're going to be equipping with people every step of the way. Um, and so it's going to be a really, really fun 21 days. So tell me, is Facebook, is it Instagram, is it TikTok, is it, you know, all of it, it. Cindy, oh my gosh, we had the, the task is people are signing up for four platforms while we are going through the the boot camp. So they have to have, we're, we're having people, they're like, I don't even have an Instagram account. You're making an Instagram account. So it's Facebook, it's Instagram, it's TikTok, it's YouTube, because the ability to attract different people on different platforms is so powerful. And and you you being able to just recycle the same content and share it to different audiences i mean it's a no brainer so and i know Danielle, you had something that you want to mention i was going to say there's two tracks so you can learn social media uh, and then networking so the thing i'll say about networking is um uh, learning how to do it properly, where you don't actually look at the person that you're meeting as the end goal and try and sell the people in your group asia or the people that you're meeting asia like This gets people's minds going, wait, what? Your goal is to get that person to refer their 200 contacts to you and to open up their database of contacts to you. That's the goal. (laughs) And most people fall short. They're just getting customers from the people in their group. That's not the way to network. So we're going to teach you the proper way to sit down, have a one-to-one and have somebody open their contact book to you. All right, last question. Can you post too much? No. (laughs) 
know. <laughs> <laughs> the more the better. <laughs> I mean, you can post too much about ASEA for sure. Yeah. But um, if you're, if it's value added content, no, the more you post, the more you're going to get in front of people. Like if you post three TikToks a day, like your account's going to grow faster than somebody that posts one. It's just a matter of what can you handle? What's the step that you can take that won't overwhelm you? You know, because if you do it all in, you're going to fall off a cliff, just like the 30 day campaign. People fell off after day four. Like, so pace yourself, <laughs> you know, create a new habit. Yeah. yeah and it's the other thing is meant to over time. Yeah. Go ahead, Alyssa. Sorry. Go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, I mean, it's just that it can become overwhelming very, very quickly. And honestly, uh, it, when it comes to social media, you have to commit to, I mean, six months to a year before you're really going to start to see the dividends uh, pay out. And so, uh, so you just have to make sure that it's something that you can commit to doing for a consistent amount of time without okay. anything in your business, right? Did you, did you guys hear that? You have to commit to six months to a year. This is not like you post tomorrow and you have a, an avalanche of people, you know, dinging you like, hey, I want to buy whatever. No. Did you hear what she said? You have to commit to six months to a year of consistently posting. And the other thing I want to say is if you're going to do a live video and yes, you're going to be nervous and scared, whatever, but get your act together. I'm okay. Get your act together. Don't go live and be getting the stuff out of your teeth and organizing your camera. Look, you've got how much time, a couple seconds to get these guys attention so that they'll watch you. Otherwise they're going to go next, 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 next swipe, swipe, swipe. So get your act together. You know, uh, you get one chance to make a first impression. Are you going to screw up? Absolutely. But screw up with strategy in mind, like move boldly in the direction of your dreams. Don't be a scatterbrain on, on social media because whatever you post is your brand. So if you want to be a scatterbrain, then you're going to, you know, not get your act together before you go live. If you want to be professional and strategic and fun and valuable, then you're going to get your act together before you push the live button. Right, guys? Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Any word, <laughs> last words of wisdom, Jackie, before we wrap it up tonight? No, I, I mean, like you're dead on. I, you know, if, if you just posted even like Monday through Friday, maybe just one about a C, the rest should be about you and your life. So that's my two cents. There you go, Danielle. Uh, come join us. We're going to have a blast. I like, I want to help you all. Social media is the most overwhelming thing. If I didn't have somebody holding my hand through it, like I would quit a long time ago. That person was Alyssa and she was amazing. Uh, so we're both happy to, to help, you know, each of you take your business to the next level. Absolutely. Alyssa. Yeah. Let me, um, uh, it's actually a quote that I found recently that I'm like obsessed with. Uh, and it is that social media is a dialogue, not a monologue. And some people don't understand that social media is more like a telephone than a television. So allow it to create more conversations for you in your business to really move the needle forward. Yeah, absolutely. I learned from the incredible Tammy Gates that Facebook is a better listening tool than it is a shouting tool. Absolutely. So sometimes just observing what's going on in social media and, ab and absorbing those people into your life is more important than, you know, putting your stuff out there. So just, you know, keep it real, be normal. You know what? You're perfect. Just the way you are. Don't change. Just be you on social media. Don't be weird. Okay. Well, thanks you guys so much for joining us tonight. You guys have an incredible night. Good night. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.